Fires are threatening Texas' multi billion dollar cattle industry. Not a lot of grass has grown in the past few years thanks to the drought. Now flames are wiping out what's left to feed the livestock. KXN's Jacqueline Glace has this story all new at five. Hill Country ranchers are bucking up and buying their cattle pricey feed. Most around $10 a bag. Little rain and high heat has made grass hard to grow, leaving cattle with little to eat. We had to feed about 18 bags every other day. Rain is needed. Ranch manager Stephen Elliott took his concerns to the Burnett County Issues Identification Forum Tuesday night. He either has to import expensive hay from up north or sell his cattle. To speak of the, in the Easter season, this may be one of the plagues. These big bales of hay might seem like there are a lot to munch on, but in about a month's time, this entire stockpile will have been eaten. What is left of hay stockpiles is going up in smoke thanks to wildfires. It's just, it's a, a collapsing situation that we don't know when we're going to be able to get out of it. West Texas ranchers are even calling on those in Burnett for help, but there's little to give. What hay we have, we're going to really hang on to it. A hay hotline is up and running to connect ranchers with hay supplies. Hibbler says selling livestock off is the best option. Smart people will get rid of cattle and not go into debt trying to feed them. Sawyer still has hay bales left and plenty of feed on hand. His cows are just hoping the money to buy it doesn't dry up. In Round Mountain, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News. To find out more about the Hay Hotline or how to donate hay, you will find all of that information on our website, kxan.com. Just look under the Texas tab.